Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a complete look that is comfy and casual. This is the finished product and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my makeup, how I styled my hair, and also how I chose my outfit for the day. So as you can see, I don't have any makeup on right now except for some foundation and my hair is up in a bun that I slept in overnight. So we're going to work on transforming. Let's start with the makeup look first. Whoa, that's really close. Okay, so as I said before, my eyebrows and my foundation have been done. So I'm going to show you guys my eye makeup. So I'm going to be taking my palette and I'm going to be using this really light pearly color. If I can find it. Kind of awkward holding this palette. Who knows? There we go. I'm going to be taking that color and I'm going to be using that all over my eyelid and also on my eyebrow bone. I'm going to be taking the same thing and doing the same exact method to the other side. Trying to avoid my eyebrow piercing, which can be really annoying at some time. Oh, there goes my earbud. Okay, next taking this light golden color. I'm going to take that and apply it all over my eyelid just until the crease. Then taking this light brown color, I'm going to apply that just to the outer edges of my eye, or just the outer half. Then lastly taking this dark brown color with some red undertones, I'm going to take that and apply it into my crease. This will add a little bit of depth to the eye. Lastly, I'm going to take an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take this pale green color and I failed to record it, but I just popped that underneath my eyes for a little bit of a brighter eye look. Then taking my eyeliner brush, I'm going to be using my gel liner and using short dabbing motions, I'm going to stay as close to the eyelash line as possible and line my eyes. Usually when I do my eyeliner, I take a really long time because I'm such a perfectionist but I cut that out so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. But once I'm done, I usually add a little bit to the lower lash line as well, just to balance out the look. Now I have both eyes lined, so I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. And that is the finished eye makeup look. Now moving on to lips, you can play this two ways. You can use a bright berry color and really pop that on and it'll add a sense of playfulness and vibrancy and it's really just a good pop of color to the whole look. Or you could add something more like this light pink color that's really natural. I'm going to show you guys how this one looks first. And you can tell me which one you guys like better below. Please disregard my teeth. They're very ugly and I'll probably never be able to afford braces. And you can't see what I'm doing. Note to self, next time film tutorial where you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's what that looks like. It's nice and natural and not too overwhelming. Now I'm going to add some of the pink on top just so that you guys can see what it would look like. I don't generally wear blush or bronzer or any of that kind of thing, so this adds a really good needed pop of color to the look. And there it is, the finished makeup look together. Time to dance. Okay, now let's see if we can do something about this hair. I 
as I mentioned, I slept overnight with a bun. So I'm gonna just have my leave-in conditioner and styling oil on the side, and I'm gonna take my straightener and I'm going to tame the flyaways that are happening. Just the layers around my face. You can already see such a difference. And I'm actually not taking that out from my bun. I had to clip that up because I'm a failure and I can't do buns properly. So as soon as that's done, I would take my bangs and I make sure that they blend nicely into the rest of my hair. And then comes the hard part, trying to actually get my bun out. When I put it in, my hair was still slightly damp, so when it comes out, it'll probably all be stuck together in like one coil. There we are. And yep, it's all stuck together. Time to try and shake out my hair, but first let's give myself a part before things get a little too crazy. I don't generally brush my hair when I take it out from a bun because I find that adds a lot of frizziness to it. But I will be finger combing just so that I can define the curls a little more and uh, separate the bigger ones. I'm going to take some of my weaving conditioner and I'm just going to use that to get rid of some of the frizzies. The more you finger comb your hair, the more it will turn into waves instead of curls, which is perfect if you just want a casual look. I didn't really film that part very well either, but what I'm doing is making sure the top of my hair has a little bit of volume and blends nicely into the rest of my curls. Then taking my styling oil, I'm just going to finger comb that all through my curls to give them some further definition and get rid of more of the frizz. And always, I love to just throw my hair upside down just to give it a little bit of volume. And it's fun. And that's the finished hair look. The only thing left now is I'm still in my pajamas. Time to get some clothes on. Time to change into some comfy and casual clothes for the day. Let's go. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Just kidding. So what I'm wearing is some dark skinny denims. And I just paired those with a very nice colorful belt, one of my favorites. And I'm wearing that with a nice comfy Hello Kitty sweatshirt. Super cute and super comfortable. The back is completely lace, I don't know if you can see. And yeah, that's my finished look for the day. I'm probably just going to go to school or something in this because I have nothing better to do with my life. Now you could wear your hair down like I am here, or you could gather it maybe at the back of your neck in a low ponytail, or maybe a high ponytail. Or if you really wanted to, I guess you could make a ponytail and clip back your bangs as well. I generally don't wear my hair like this because I don't think it looks very good, but it's definitely an option. And that is it. That's the whole makeup, hair, and outfit for a comfy casual day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video, comment, and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.